Hey Russ. Okay, so it's Monday morning. Here we go. Let's, let's look at the numbers. Sorry, this was me blowing things off, so ignore that that noise. So we can see we've got great amplitude. This is great cruising amplitude. With the accuracy with these, I average positions. So this is where we're averaging position for this position. But as you can see, the thing that really matters is we're getting a great beat error, which is zero, and obviously great cruising amplitude. It's really, really good. And I judge a movement, I judge a watch a lot by the condition of the movement. A reliable timepiece. I can have, you know, the best looking watch in the world, but if it doesn't run well, it kind of isn't a watch at all to me. So, I mean, 263, I mean, we, that's great cruising amplitude. It's really good. Okay, let's talk cosmetics. Now this has been a fun project because we've been working with a few things, with what you're looking to get and with the limitations of what I can do for you. But I wanted to create the best possible watch for, for you, working with the limitations that I have. Though I don't like to say limitations. I like to keep watches original. I don't like building watches from bits. So I wanted to really stick to keeping the watch honest and original to itself. And so that's really what we've done. And so it's going to show, I mean, obviously it has a little bit more wear. We have some wear here. But that's, that's really, that's the most of it. I mean, but it's got the things on these watches, as I've said, that are, that are most important. The hardest, hardest things to get on a gold dial is a good original gold surface with white loom. Because these gold dials, the, di the dials, they sometimes have issues with aging. And this one doesn't have any aging issues. The other hardest thing to get is a black indicator ring because they fade in the sun. So it's to to have one of these, this Aussie Pogue, that's really, it's, it's a hard ask to get because you have to get not just one good thing, you have to get two good things. You have to get the good dial and the good indicator ring. So that's always the, that's always the challenge to be able to get those two things and here we've got them. And we've got a third thing which I prize, which is that the watch is original to itself. So it has some wear, it has some signs of service, but it never had any abuse, it was never beaten. It, and, it's, and it is original to itself in the main, for the most part. Even the crystal is original to this watch. So that's, you know, that is... That is a, a extremely, to me, a very valuable thing. So we have, in many ways, for me, from my viewpoint, the best of all possible worlds. That it is, that is clean, that it is original. Yes, it has some wear, but for me, that wear is offset by the fact that the watch is original to itself. I mean, there are people in the world who would cheerfully mix and match and strip parts out of other watches and do all this other stuff, you know, just create a complete Frankenstein that would cosmetically look ideal for, you know, for somebody who wanted a watch that was basically looked like it was new. And that wouldn't bother them that the watch came from pieces. But mm. I don't, I don't really work that way. And it's just, it's, it's, and so that's a limitation I have to work with. So I hope to, communicate the value of that to you and hopefully it's something that I'm not out of line on and something that you you agree with and it's something that you enjoy the watch is original it is complete it is original and it is serviced and it runs beautifully and it's that to me is a big big thing and you can wear it without fear it's not a museum piece it's not a safe queen it's original and it's clean beautiful honey colored dial with the resist text anyway that's it um you let me know what you think and we'll go from there thank you